slasher or something like that. Uh, bye bye. Get ready to watch me get bodied. Good luck in your set. We've got Solus here. What's up, man? I believe we're accommodating, we're accommodating an S1 set. I don't oh, know cool. what sort of S1 set. It's S1 Android, right? Oh, is that the case? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, so. it is. Mm. That's going to be interesting. So we had my uh, co commentator from moments ago playing S1 now. And this is Solus here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, you, but you can call me Stevie. Stevie. Okay, we've got yeah, Stevie because here. The glasses, you know? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm seeing. So we're going to get. Probably going to get Ness Ryu. Probably. Um, I can safely say Andrew doesn't have a lot of. Or Andrew, sorry. Red Slasher doesn't have a lot of uh, Ness experience. And he's very vocal about how much he hates characters who can. Um, Multi wall them out. Yeah, multi hit. Well, multi hits is a. <laughs> yeah, multi hits. I think that's well. a very 2015 uh, <laughs> why Ryu loses matchups. But um, <laughs> I think uh, S1's going to be frustrating to get up to. I think he's going to yeah. be kind of evasive. He's, uh, he's got that really nice move. And you see him on. I saw the other day he put up this really nice video of him on uh, auto canceling all his aerials, ledge canceling, things like that. Um, yeah. Lovely little video. But um, I d Andrew doesn't like annoying matchups. And I feel like. <laughs> If S1 really wants to play the Andrew, the Red Slasher matchup optimally, he's got to be very, very annoying. PK fire. PK fire. Could be the case. We'll see. Um, not entirely sure how the matchup itself goes, but yeah, I'm not sure how much, it, how good of a time yeah. Andrew's gonna have with this. Passive downfield, Tatsu. Already solid, 21%. Yeah. He's, go he's not going to want to get grabbed anyway. He's jumping a little bit here. Um, yeah, Ness can get stuff started with his grab. He's going to come down finished. with aerials to avoid just any ground game, I guess. Yeah. Caught, yeah. So he's pretty, I don't know if that that's something Andrew always does in that sort of situation, <laughs> but obviously this is something he had in mind for his matchup. Oh, nice he, angle from oh, the went for it. This is uh, S1 gets touched, he dies. In the wrong, oh, gets touched Base, in the wrong way. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, and saving his jump yeah. and oh, that's, that's an SD. Yeah, yeah, very unfortunate. Probably going for a specific angle and just got the control stick a little yeah. messed up. But Andrew takes a little. Happen, Red Slasher takes everyone. Lead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Red Slasher taking the lead. This would be. That's not oh, a tech. saving his gets jump. back anyway. Yeah, he got the, he kept the good jump. Yeah, should ideally be taking those, but. That's, uh, that's a good way. Hadouken. He goes for that Hadouken a lot coming back to the stage. Well, not a lot, but um, it's definitely a mix-up he has in mind. I'm not entirely sure if that's exactly what he wanted to do there. I don't know if he wanted to hit Ness or actually flank with well, the... He's, um, he's using it to get rid of his aerial yeah. I mean, specials. So. Not sure if it's intentional or not. Yeah. But it's working out. I think he might have been looking for a foot still there, but he's too much rage. Yeah. Nice air dodge read. Andrew's looking... Or Red Sash is looking good right Ooh. now. Is that a kill? No, no. no. <laughs> Oh, Couple uh, more percent. Couple more up tilts. Something like that. Yeah, that's dead. That's dead. Yeah. Red Slash takes game one in a Solid. dominant fashion. It's hard not to be biased here. Yeah. There's actually a kind of, um, I guess, subplot of Irish Smash whenever we have um, all the players come over. Is mm -hmm. that Ireland's always defended itself. Yeah. A uh, foreign invader has never won. And the thing is, normally people would say, oh, Maggi Maggi's gonna defend, David's gonna defend or whatever, but a lot of the time the people who actually take out the invaders are, in fact, Red Slasher and Scarfield. I, like, took, out, I took out one, technically. Good man, there you go. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we have big, uh, another defender in the in our ranks. In also, that's sure you out of PK Fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna be hitting that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Red Slasher beat Afro Smash at CT. Yeah. Beat CRZ at Schism last year. Yeah. So we could have a case where Red Slasher defends the country once again. But um, this is definitely going to be a tougher doing, game here. Yeah, Battle is a well. really nice one for Ness. Ooh. That's a weird interaction. <laughs> and uh, no punish, unfortunately, yeah. for Red Slasher. Look, it's better than getting hit by Unfortunately for an S1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. It's looking like it could be another uptilt is death for S1 here. Yeah, um, so... Yeah, he's going to stay glued away <laughs> from Red Slasher. Any aerials he wants it should yeah. not be punishable on the ground. Ooh, yeah, that, that, was, a, a that was a bit greedy. Very greedy, yeah. Well, that is but, S1's first stock of the set. Yeah, very true. 
but it is the case. Um, I reckon S. I feel like S1 should be kind of keeping it in the platforms a little bit. Just um, Ryu isn't gonna get those kind of easier confirms. Yeah. Keeping them off here. He's not gonna. There's no. Okay, I was gonna say there's no real need to fire yourself on stage as he does that. But again with the Shoryu from from get up. Yeah. Andrew likes that. He's a get up DP or whatever you call it. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up DP. That's the one. That's yeah. Easy. Why is it called DP? Um, it's the Street Fighter in uh, okay. Dragon Punch. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I probably made a mistake there, but whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, S1 keeping them juggle juggling them nicely here. I don't think we're going all the way to reverse, the top platform. Reverse two stock or? Yeah. I don't know. I, he can def he's definitely more than capable of air the, or yeah, and really here. one of the better characters to making comebacks. Yeah, it for sure. Does kill power? But it's looking uh, a little too late. Keeping him off stage. Nicely done by S1 Captain Yuki together. That could be it. No. Oh no, focus. Yeah, Spin. he's just a little off the mark and those confirms off of uh, PK Thunder. Oh. No, Ness is living. Got the DI right. Pick up Battlefield coming, clutch for S1. Yeah. So, so two, reverse two stock. Two stock to two stock. So Back and forth set. Yeah, back and forth. One hands to one hands. Um, I reckon... I'm not sure how much... Let's see. I'm not sure where Andrew Red Slasher would like to go, because Nesk is capable of juggling uh, Ryu quite a bit. Well, we know he's going to ban Smashville. So. Yeah, down City. <laughs> That's a very fair choice. Get the confirms nice and early. Mm -hmm. Probably Ryu's like second best stage, besides from FD. Uh, it kind of kind of depends on the matchup, but yeah, yeah. that's true. It's yeah, definitely a good one anyway. Yeah, but well, FD and Town are definitely his best two stages. Most yeah. Definitely. And getting true to PK down there. Yeah, S1 can't oh, go for these yeah. juggles on. Getting S1 can't go for these juggles yeah. on. Because uh, focus. This is the case where another up tilt and S1's in real danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very much not. He's kind of poking him a bit out of that range. He really cannot afford to get hit by one of those confirms. Uh, and Red Slasher just jumping to center stage. You know, he wants yeah. to stay. He wants to stay in advantage and have control. Just kind of weaving in and out of each other, there's no real opportunity. Okay, there's, he finally finds an up air out of that. Mm -hmm. Edge guarding once again with PK Thunder. It's not really falling in um, that position where you kind of get the PK Thunder into up air or one of those confirms. It hasn't really fallen in favor yet. He has to be like down low off the stage, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Ooh, I don't think F he wanted that forward tilt. Yeah, probably an up tilt. What do you yeah. Very kind of antsy here, really. I think whoever takes this first stock will take it. As the second goes, whoever yeah. takes the first stock wins. Whoever takes both stocks wins in this one. <laughs> yeah. Whoever well, kills and die. <laughs> that's in general. That's yeah, no, I know. <laughs> that's much. We've had two two stocks so far. Ooh. This has definitely been the most even the game so far, though. Uh, back uh, back yeah. always gonna the kill. The classic. No matter where you are on the stage, you will yeah. kill. But. It's not like Ryu can't kill quite early himself. This one's definitely is really not giving them the chance though. Since the first game when he got um he hasn't really gotten the chance to kind of confirm off those hotels. He hasn't really dropped it. Like Andrew hasn't even given him the option to drop one of those confirms. Yeah. He's doing very well at avoiding those confirms. Yeah. A lot of PK bar in this game. A lot of full hot PK bar. Probably defend the focus option. Yeah. I think this is the sort of game Andrew does not like, yeah. where he's really not getting an opportunity to get the bunches in. And wake up DP. Yeah. This is looking Ooh. like. Yeah, that's oh, not saving jump. He keeps on saving jump. Fair play to Andrew, he's actually. Oh, the spot dodge. That was clutch. Yeah, he seems to. Red Slasher seems to. Oh. Ooh. Random Tatsu. Random Tatsu. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't Keep know if that's a tattoo. That's very much a uh, summer of 2016 red slasher for you. <laughs> He's gonna need a nice combo here. I don't see him really uh, winning the war of attrition against S1. Yeah. 
more back airs than yeah, that one. A lot of back airs coming yeah. out here. That's what it's for. You have your bumps, and this is this is vantage, just back air. Yeah. <laughs> Get him juggle. Oh, that, oh, not sure. Definitely looking for yeah. a back throw here or yeah. that. Sneaks in the up air. Andrew is. <laughs> 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 I hope that was her through the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. And quote, that character is so dumb. Yeah. So I, dumb. I could go for the low loan, say, coming from a Ryu main. Ha 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 ha. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Andrew behind 2 1, or sorry, 2 1 to S1 right now. I'm guessing Andrew would want to run it back to Town City, which he will. Yeah, he can. Um, Can't go back to FD yeah. with DSR. S1 definitely is... He's been adapting far more since the first game. Especially uh, Noah's Bull in the second game. But it's not looking great for Andrew right now. But he, he's more than capable he of bringing it back. He hasn't really been abusing Ness off stage with three. You really can't because yeah. his jumps are pretty... Yeah, small. that's a big one. One of Ness's like really exploitable weaknesses is, is yeah. not really as big of a factor against Ryu. Mm -hmm. S one's like, yeah, he's really running away with this. Andrew's not getting a chance to eat, get any of his good punishes in. Like, a big thing with Irish Smash in general is that, oh, it's a player with a great punish game. Like, I remember John Theo telling me about how um, he's doing write-ups for the Irish Smash players, and it's like, X main with a great punish game. Everyone in Ireland's got a good punish game, but um, that's not much use when you're not you getting an opportunity no to get a hit. No neutral is a, uh, it's a harsh criticism, problem. but you can see it here. S1's a very, very good player, and yeah. he knows he can't afford to get hit here. you got to play every stock like you're on your last hit situation with Ryu. Nerf, nerf train. Yeah, I'm not sure, um, in terms of Ryu experience, I know the Dutch do have, like, Petrino, yeah, but Petrino. Um, I can't say I know how much they played together. But he's definitely well, playing the Ryu matchup play better than a lot of European players I've seen. Well, Andrew has S1 corner, but S1 it's, it's clipping yeah. to get under. Up air coming out of nowhere, big knock. We're gonna trade. Knock him right up. But I mean, think about it, he is doing be 2% better than last game. He is. Yeah. Good for keeping track of that. <laughs> the stats man here. <laughs> Good memory, you know. What a, okay. yeah. Very <laughs> questionable uh, I'm not sure what that sure you was going for. Yeah, gets the up air up tilt. First chance he's gotten to get that kill in a while. In a while. Okay, no while. Uh, yeah. So he, he could definitely take this game. He's just gotta yeah. take as big as much advantage of his uh and normal open shirt, again. normal Hadouken, the best projector on the game. Questionable. But um <laughs> Not sure it's even the best uh, the best projectile in this match right now. Yeah. But yeah, Andrew's really or Red Slash has really gotta take as much advantage of and he opens he gets as he can, because yeah. S1 is dominating you in this game. It's set really. But Ryu Aerials, Ryu Tails still all okay, do plenty he was of percent. In there, but S1 just knocking him away. He doesn't want to give Andrew yeah. a moment of confidence. Ryu is bringing up the rage though, so a yeah. couple of hits and this is right couple it. Couple hits, it's kill percent. Yeah. Very much uh, every line I've got to use for commentary in a Ryu set. Yep. It's never it's quite even, out of it. It's an even game. Yeah. Except not really in this case, because oh. back row. That back row would have ended it right yeah. there. So good trade, wasn't it? That's one thing where while Andrew really wants to rush in and get a kill, he's like, again, oh, S1's got clutch, the, the trump card of his own. No. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this up is, this tilt is versus back, back row and up Yeah. Oh, oh, no! That's a miss input and a half. Oh, no. I'm not entirely sure.